welcome to my youtube channel welcome to my kitchen this is your beloved your beloved your beloved baby antoinette thank you so much for stopping by in today's video we're making cerulean potato leaves simple and easy recipe as always Let's take a quick look at the ingredient that we need to prepare this very delicious potato leaves. So the first thing we need is potato leaves, fresh and clean potato leaves. So this has been washed and sliced as you guys can see. And the next thing we have here is dried fish and kanda aka cow skin aka epidermis i have seasoning cubes i'll be using onga and ami i also have smoked or dried chicken here i won't be using all of this i am also making dried okra on this side which you guys will have to see later on after this video so i'm just going to divide this into two and use half of it for these potato leaves I also have boiled beans. This is broad beans and there is no authentic potato leaves without broad beans, okay? So I have broad beans and it has already been parboiled. I also have pepper. I have onion, one bowl onion and palm oil, ogiri, sesame seeds, sesame, 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 sesame seeds. So the first thing I do as always is to boil the kanda because it needs more time to cook. It seems as if I use kanda for every sauce, right? <laughs> I'm just in love with it and I use it a lot. So first off, we add the kanda into the pot and add a seasoning cube and let that boil for some time. Next thing that goes in is the red oil, the palm oil, and then we'll leave it to boil down. I'm adding the beans and the um, pepper. Give it some good mix and cover it to boil. This has been boiling for about 20 minutes. I'm going in now with the chicken and the fish. And when we come back, we're going to add the potato leaves. I'm adding the potato leaves now. And I just want to remind you guys, if you're in Sierra Leone and you go to the market to buy potato leaves, Freetown in particular, you need to be really smart enough to discern as to whether it is fresh and young otherwise they'll just give you one that is packed with fertilizer and when you cook that it'll just look it'll just look like something else and those potato leaves okay so you need to rub it between your fingers to see whether it is fresh and soft I'm 
I'm also adding sliced onions because I love the smell of the onion and this is the perfect time to add so that when it starts steaming with the potato leaves, your neighbors will know you're preparing something delicious. In fact, even if the person is down the road, they'll start saying, oh, I the smell potato leaf for potato leaf sweet, so you know eh? So just add the onion at this particular point and give it some good mix. I turned the gas on low heat because you don't want your potato leaves to burn and you don't want to cover it for too long because it is a vegetable that has lots of water and if you cover it for too long you just see water from nowhere okay you'll just see your whole pot will be filled with water so you need to just cover it for a bit so that it steams down and then you open it and just continue mixing with low heat what did i just say low heat okay so continue mixing so that it doesn't burn it's just okay and all of that and here we are you guys potato leaves is all done and looking yummy please make sure you drop your comments in the comment section hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and the next video will be dried okra that is a video that is highly requested okay people want to see how to cook dried okra and i'll bring it on very soon probably tomorrow because i just need to edit so you guys stick in there and don't go anywhere. Thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Until my next one. Bye. Mwah.